Most aviators that enjoy documenting trips with in-flight video have observed prop distortion, or prop artifact, when acquiring images through a rotating propeller. This artifact usually appears in one of two forms. The image contains either rippling, curvy lines, or the silhouette of a propeller blade moving through the imaging field. The artifact tends to be most prominent on bright, sunny days. The two different patterns of artifact are caused by different optical sensors used by cameras. Generally, cameras employ one of two different optical sensors. Cameras either use CMOS optical sensors or CCD optical sensors. The curvy lines observed in the image on the right are typically generated by cameras employing CMOS-based sensors. The prop silhouette observed on the left is typically generated by cameras using CCD-based sensors. The different artifacts generated by each are the result of different e-shutter methods used. CMOS sensors use a rolling e-shutter, while CCD sensors use a uniform e-shutter. Several other factors, including image acquisition rate, contribute to artifact. Many cameras acquire images at a rate of approximately 30 frames per second. Every 1 30th of a second, a new image is captured. A two-blade propeller completing a rotation every 15th of a second, that's about 900 RPMs, creates an interesting effect in which the propeller seems to stand still. To demonstrate these artifacts, a model airplane engine has been mounted in front of a white backdrop. An optical sensor and oscilloscope are being used to calculate prop rotation frequency by observing the frequency with which propeller blades interrupt light. Both CMOS and CCD-based camera images are shown. Notice that as propellers reach rotation speeds of 900, 1800, 2700, and 3,600 RPMs, they appear to stop moving. At these rotational speeds, the cameras acquire images when one of two propeller blades rotate through their arcs and come to be in the same position by the time the next consecutive image is captured. The uniform e-shutter used by CCD sensors essentially allows the optical matrix to register all picture elements in the frame concurrently. This accounts for the straight borders of the prop silhouette. The rolling e-shutter of the CMOS-based camera does not allow for simultaneous acquisition of all picture elements. The CMOS-based camera used here acquires the image sequentially from top to bottom. This sequential or rolling acquisition accounts for the curvy outline of the propeller. A crude example is shown. As the propeller rotates, the image is acquired from top to bottom. As each section of the image is acquired, the prop has time to advance. Each section of the prop is therefore registered in a different location during the acquisition of a frame. This accounts for the curvy outline of the prop shadow. It's possible to soften artifact generated by both CCD and CMOS sensors by reducing e-shutter speed. By reducing the e-shutter speed, the propeller shadows in each case is converted to a soft blur. Here's an example. The CCD camera on the left has an e-shutter speed of 1 2,000th of a second. The right, 1 100th of a second. Most point-and-shoot cameras will do this automatically as the field you're trying to image becomes darker. This accounts for the reduction in artifact prominence on overcast days. Here, the same effect is being achieved with a CMOS-based camera by reducing light intensity. If the camera being used does not allow for manual alterations in e-shutter speed, 
One can still reduce shutter speed using a filter which decreases the intensity of incident light. Here, pairs of sunglasses are being used to demonstrate. Naturally, it would be best to use filters that do not alter colors necessitating color correction.